Good morning, everybody. It's Anthony here, and I am making this quick video to walk you through this week's edition of Power EdTech Weekly. So um, today, what I've put in is some resources for you guys. Uh, the first one being YouTube videos. We've got a number of questions about how students are able to access YouTube videos um, at home uh, when they're signed in through their NPS account, their only way they're able to view YouTube videos is if you approve them. And the process is super easy. For each YouTube video that you want to approve, you're going to visit it while you're signed into your NPS account, and you're going to click the little approve button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. So here I have little um, pictures of what it looks like for you. This is a YouTube video. You got to make sure that you're signed in with your NPS account. And then right down here is where that approve button is. So you're going to click that button to approve videos. If you need more information, you can check out uh, this little explanation here in the newsletter. Next one is submitting assignments in Google Classroom. Some teachers have reached out to me asking for a step-by-step -step guide for students to submit assignments through Google Classroom. So I made a little video walkthrough of what they need to do to do that. You can feel free to share this YouTube video with your students. It walks them straight through the whole process of finding the assignment in Google Classroom and the steps they need to do to either complete uh, the assignment that you've posted in there by putting in like a template document type thing, or if they need to upload their own stuff, either by creating their own Google Doc or Google Slide, audio file, video file, whatever it is that you want them to attach, you um, it, it takes them through that process there. And then the next thing are some workshops that I have this week. So today at 2, we have screencasting for teachers. That's Monday at 2. Uh, and that's just going to take you through how to create a screencast using an app called Screencastify. And um, also uh, video tools for the classroom is going to be on Wednesday. That's going to walk you through um, selecting YouTube videos, using an app called Edpuzzle to embed um, questions and things like that. Uh, and to check to make sure that the kids are watching the videos that you want them to watch. Um, so I'll take you through all that stuff. And then on Friday, we'll have Appy Hour at 2, which uh, is just going to be kind of a general questions and answer type thing. Um, I hope you can join us for at least one of those uh, workshops this week. If you uh, can't, for whatever reason, I'll make sure that I record those videos, uh, those sessions for you. Um, screencasting is a great way to go, especially if you're kind of hesitant to host live sessions through Google Meet, um, or if you just don't have the time to. I know with three kids that are doing the same kind of uh, home learning online uh, here at home, it's not easy to schedule a time uh, that's going to work for everybody for you to set up a live Google Meet. So if you want to record yourself kind of walking through directions or showing the kids what to do using Screencastify is a great way to go with that. You can do it on your own schedule and then easily post that to your students. Um, so definitely try and check that stuff out. Uh, also, just a reminder for any kind of updated uh, walkthroughs or tutorials, things like that, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a nice button right there. If you need any help, you can email me. I'm happy to uh, help you out through email. Um, you can give me a call or send me a text at this phone number here or you can make an appointment. We can do a one-on-one -on -one session through Google Meet. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you guys had a great weekend and have a great week this week. Um, let me know if you need any help. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.